The El Trono has always been Florence's primary artisan district. Locals and visitors are used to seeing jewelry, clocks, woodwork, and leather goods in the neighborhood windows. But one studio on Via Romana has a different kind of art on display. At Tuscan Wedding Cakes, Melanie Secciani stays busy building her own brand of Florentine masterpieces, Destination Wedding Cakes. I started out, my dad is a tattoo artist. And I grew up around that, so I grew up around watching him sort of sketch and, and work and, and design and practice every day. So I knew that um, I wanted to do something like that. I went and moved to Thailand and I got my culinary degrees. I studied under Vinder Belbier, who is an amazing Asian chef in Bangkok. And I got degrees in Thai and Indian. So I started out, you know, I consider all of those kind of a background training. Tuscany is one of the top wedding destinations in the world. Um, and we get some amazing, amazing events. I think the best way to, to explain it is what my father did is he took a very permanent kind of art, which is a tattoo, it's something that never disappears, and imprinted it. And what I try and do is I take the most impermanent thing, which is a piece of cake, which is edible. But it's this moment in time, which is so, so, it's fleeting, but, and yet it lasts a lifetime. It's walking down the street and, and I'll see a vase. And I'll go, oh my God, that is so cool. And, and then I'll go, that should be a cake. Everything that everybody's doing, I think that, that when you're working in an art form, you're really working, it's a collaboration, even if you don't realize it. So the man down the street, the guy down the street who's making, you know, picture frames may not realize that he's working with me, but he's working with me because I'm looking at what he's doing and I'm going, that could be something. I think that as an expat and as a woman, coming into this community can be a challenge. Because again, you know, especially in the kitchen, um, it's, it's a male dominated field. <laughs> so, so it's not easy um, coming in and, and really making your way. However, I do think the flip side of that is when you start looking at artists in the community, at, at other Fiorentine artists in the community, the opportunity to work on a global level and the opportunity to really, um, again, see things differently. They're so open to collaborations and to dialogue, and, and it really does help feed whatever art form you're working on.